Jeff here with part two of Me Explorer's look at Japanese trains. If you haven't already, please take a look at part one where we covered all the things you might need to know before you hop on the train. So now on to part two, the three main types of train services. And number one is your common train service. If you're gonna use trains in Japan, you're definitely gonna use this type of train. Now these are the slowest but least expensive trains. They are usually made up of boxy looking cars and have train lengths from two cars to I don't know how many cars. Now within the common train service, there are three types of modes. The first is the local mode, which stops at every single station along the way. And the second mode is rapid mode, which is a little bit quicker because it skips some stations. And the third mode is express mode, which is even quicker because it skips even more stations. Be aware, some companies like Japan Rail or JR will charge you for using the express mode. Well, that's it for number one, which is common train service. Now for number two, limited express. Now most train companies have limited express and you might be able to recognize them by either the way the train looks because some of them have really cool looking trains or by their name like Narita Express or Iseshima Liner. And what's special about these trains, they make fewer stops, cover greater distances more quickly and have reserved seats. The downside is they're gonna be more expensive because of those reserved seats. But I think it's kind of worth it when you're traveling an hour and 40 minutes from Osaka to Ise. You're gonna to wanna to sit down. That's number two, Limited Express. Now number three, the Super Express, or commonly known as the Shinkansen. This is Japan's fastest, most advanced, most famous train service. It is known worldwide for its speed and excellent service. Because of this, everyone wants to ride it, but it's only really good for long distances, like between Tokyo and Osaka. So, if you wanna use it, you might need to plan it into your trip. But of course, why would you only wanna see Tokyo when you can see Kyoto, Osaka, Nara, Nagoya, Ise, Hiroshima, and so much more? Well, there you have it, the three main types of train services here in Japan. So, if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, comments, feedbacks, helpful tips, or want to share your experiences, please comment below or send me a message. Next video, I will be covering how to use the ticket machines at the station. So, that's all for now. Thanks for watching me explore, and I hope to see you in Japan sometime. Mata ne.